everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, tonight's the last night we're going to do a trivet with that scarf again. I know. I got this trivet. It's not a trivet. It's a tile and I got it from my restore. It's like a hexagon. Super cool, right? So I just clean it up with some alcohol. There was staining on it, but we're going to cover it. So we're fine. And here's our pretty scarf. So we're just going to rough cut out about the section where we want to put on it. Now, just like the other things, we use some dishwasher safe Mod Podge and I cover the tile with that. Then we're going to put our scarf piece on. Now this one, we're going to make sure we put it on so that it has enough overhang to cover the edges. And I'm going to just rough cut it out. Again, this is rough cut it out. Um, you could, I guess, go a little bit more exact, but I don't know. It just, just didn't do it for me. Um, so then I put some more Mod Podge on and I make sure to do the edges as well and then I make sure to go over the top so we're just going to flip that over and then we're going to smooth it out now again like I said with the other <laughs> several projects we've done with this beautiful scarf this fabric is fussy you're going to have to babysit it a whole lot more um, but that's okay right now see how I did the edges now you'll see that the fabric wants to buckle if that happens to you you could because I'm lazy <laughs> and I want things done fast I just snip it and then um, I snip the edge. So see how I snipped it and now we have that little piece hanging off? I just cut it off. And then I put my brush on it and I smooth it out and it's perfect. It's fine. Um, if this doesn't work for you, you might not even have to do that. Yours might not buckle. Again, I think a lot of the reason why sometimes mine's buckle is because I go too fast. I get all excited. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. And then, yeah, and then I have to do stuff to make up for that. But anyways, as mentioned, you're going to have to babysit a little bit with this fabric because you'll put it down and then it'll need to, you know, have more um, brush strokes, to, you know, because it'll bubble up or whatever. So just be aware. Now, um, I will say this. It once it starts to dry, it's fine. And now this is just about dry. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cut that excess off the bottom. I suppose you might not even have to do that, but you really want, I don't, I, I'm going to put a cork on the back and I don't know if that excess fabric would mess with that or not. So my suggestion is to just cut that off and it cuts off just easy. It's fine. Now, again, because it's not fully dry, you want to just make sure and go over it. See how there was just a little bit of bubbling? Just go over it. And then I go over the edges again because I just cut it and it wasn't fully dry. So it's going to pop up a little bit. I promise though, because I've done this already, um, I know that it actually does adhere. All right, so then we're going to take this Dollar Tree adhesive back cork. I almost said pork. <laughs> Anyways, and we're going to trace out our um, octagon, and then we're going to cut it out, and then we're going to adhere it to the back of our, I'm calling this a trivet, but I don't know that I would put hot stuff on it. Um, but if you had, friends, oh, let me just tell you, I sand it off the excess. You could trim it if you want. But let me say this. Even if you don't use it as a trivet, sometimes we have like pictures of iced tea or lemonade. How fun would that look with this to do? Oh, you put your pitcher of lemonade on it and then you use your other coaster. Stop it. How cute. And it's good for decoration too. Anyways, friends, thanks for watching. And I hope this inspires you.